Today we are showing how to test the water pressure and flow rate at the end of your garden hose. <laughs> Welcome to Brygen. Enjoy the video. We start out by reading the water pressure gauge in the basement, which indicates the pressure of water coming in from the municipal water line before entering the house. It is reading 60 PSI. Since we need a long length of hose, we are connecting a 100 foot and a 50 foot hose together. To maintain the maximum amount of pressure, we use good commercial quality rubber hose. Vinyl hose should work okay if it is relatively new and doesn't have any leaks. We add quick connect adapters to the ends of the hoses. They make it fast and easy to connect and disconnect hoses. Make sure to put Teflon tape or thread sealant on the threads of hose before attaching the quick connect. Then put a sealant on to the other quick connect end that will be inserted into the hose end and screw it into the hose. You can see how nice it is to be able to quickly disconnect the ends. Now that we have our quick connect adapters added to the new hose, we'll connect the two hoses together and attach a shutoff valve to the other end of the hose. We're ready to test the water pressure. First we'll clear the hose of any hot water that may be in the hose from the heat of the day. You can purchase a water pressure gauge for about $10. It's a good investment depending on the cost of your equipment. You can easily find them at Lowe's or Home Depot. We've attached a quick connect to it also, but if you aren't using one, just screw the gauge onto the hose. Turn the water on and you will see what PSI your water is. Ours is 55 PSI, which is pretty good for the distance and slight incline the water is traveling. It is more than enough for our requirements. Now we'll check the flow rate of the water. Take a five gallon container and have a timer available. Direct the hose into the bucket and turn the water on and start the timer counting up. Fill the container for one minute. It almost filled the bucket so our water flow is 4 and 3 fourths gallons per minute. Again, more than enough for our requirements. Now you're ready to enjoy your new squirt gun. Go to bridgen.xyz or our channel for more fun videos and information. Thanks for watching.